what is the best way to board an airplane and why what how do you know that <laughs> okay i thought going in boarding from the back to the front was obviously the fastest because you just get people in no one bumps into each other everybody's out of the way and you just file in and sit down and so i ran the code boarding from back to front and i was like so okay people can't pass I yeah assume. there's no passing you just like I, what, what I would do is I would just line the passengers up and then I would say go and then they would move down the airplane and sit down. And then some of them just hang, do they hang whilst they're putting their baggage up or do they just Yeah, sit so I had down? how much time do they have to store their luggage and I, that was an adjustable parameter. Okay. How fast do they walk? And then I thought, okay, so if that's the best case scenario, then the worst case scenario is obviously going to be going from the front to the back. So I'll just reverse the order and send it in. And then that will give me the whole spread of what's the best to worst. And I got basically the same answer. And I was like, this can't possibly be right. I got the same answer going front to back as back to front. Something's got to be wrong here. And so maybe I wrote the code wrong. And so then I built this animation, which was basically I just had it print out a text file, a bunch of exclamation points marching across the screen. And I was like, yeah, that's the behavior of a line. So I got that right. So what's going on? So then I decided to, to do random switches of passengers and see if it gets faster. So it's the Markov chain Monte Carlo, the traveling salesman version where you just switch a couple passengers around, see if it goes faster. If it goes faster, you keep the change and you switch to other ones and you keep doing that over and over and over again. Eventually you converge to the, to the optimum. It turns out the problem with boarding back to the front is that you have six people that are all trying to get into the same row. And so you have to wait for one person to put their luggage away and sit down in order for the next person to get to that row and put their luggage away and sit down in order for the next person to get to the row. And so you're waiting for six people to fill one row. Right. You're not using the aisle at all. And the fastest way to do it is to spread passengers out in the aisle. So you have as many people in the airplane as possible who can simultaneously put their luggage away without getting in each other's way. So you want to distribute them almost uniformly. Yeah, you want to spread them out as much as possible in there. In, in the aisle so that instead of having one person putting their luggage away at a time, you can have 10 or 15 or 20 put away their luggage at the same time. The answer is you spread them apart, whatever the minimum number of rows people need to put their so luggage away. So you just do the odds and the evens then? Yeah, so you'd send in basically every even row, the window seat on one side. So yeah. every even row, a in order, back to front, send it in, and then everyone can put their luggage away at once. And then you send in the middle seat and the window seat, then you go to the other side and you do the same thing. Yeah. So it takes, it would take 12 groups arranged the right way. So the first question that people ask is, no one's ever going to do this. Like, why? What? Yeah, because people want that prestige level of boarding. And the... But the real answer to that question was, it doesn't matter if you can implement it. The physicist in me is like, the, the implementation is not the issue. It's what is the optimum. 